on the polls in Britain. Well, the stage is set for the parliamentary election in Britain today. This is an election that is seen as one of the closest fought in years. Polls suggest a neck-and-neck -neck fight between Labour and Conservatives. The question is, will it be a hung parliament? And in a close contest, will India vote play the kingmaker with a number of Indian origin candidates in the fray? The political parties in the United Kingdom are fielding Indian origin candidates in many constituencies. Indian origin migrants that form the UK's largest foreign-born voter population could play a decisive role in the country's May 7 general elections. The party leaders from the ruling coalition, Conservatives and Liberal Democrats and opposition Labour redoubled their efforts to win over the electorate in one of the closest elections in British history where every vote will count. According to the figures from a recent British election study, the number of Indian voters, estimated at around 615,000, identified with the Labour Party, has fallen from 77% in 1977 to just 18% in 2014. The ruling Conservatives, led by Prime Minister David Cameron, had only attracted 16% of ethnic minority votes at the last election in 2010 and are seeking to address that by fielding 12 Indian origin candidates in these elections. These include Infosys co-founder Narayan Murthy's son-in-law Rishi Sunak, who is contesting from Richmond constituency. The first Sikh candidate to contest from Northern Ireland is Amandeep Singh Bhogal. The Indian origin brother-sister duo of Arun Forte and Surya are contesting on Conservative Party ticket from Yardley, Birmingham and Wolverhampton South East, respectively. Another Conservative Party candidate from Wilden constituency, East Sussex, is Nus Ghani. Britain goes to the polls on 7th of May to elect a new government in what is set to be the closest election since the 1970s with the country's two main parties unable to open up a clear lead. The British Parliament is made up of 650 seats with 326 required for majority. In the last elections in 2010, which also presented a hung result, the Tories had 307 and Labour had 258. The Liberal Democrats, 57, helped the Tories cobble together a majority, but with Nick Clegg-led Liberal Democrats losing much ground this year, any coalition talks are expected to run on for days as parties may be forced to resort to horse trading. Deputy Prime Minister and Liberal Democrat leader warned on Tuesday that Britain faces a disruptive second election before Christmas if either of the two main parties try to govern alone as minority governments. They want to create a messy, unstable minority government on the one hand in the hands of, of Nigel Farage and the right wing imposing ideological cuts, cuts, cuts way beyond what is necessary or on the other hand in the hands of Alex Salmond and borrowing pots and pots of money that we don't have. All that hard work, all those sacrifices made by millions of our fellow citizens as we've had to go through this really difficult time over the last few years will all have been wasted. The last thing that Britain needs is a second election before Christmas. That raises the prospect of another coalition, something Britain has had since 2010 of one of the two main parties trying to govern as a minority administration, relying on smaller parties for support on a vote-by-vote -vote basis. Whoever wins is likely to be governing from a position of weakness, with even small rebellions potentially blocking policy. That could see lengthy wrangling over policy, unpopular compromises and an unstable government dictated to by smaller parties. Bureau Report, DD News.